family drama. My, 65 male, son's ex is threatening to boycott Thanksgiving with my grandkids if I don't ban his new fiancé from attending. My son, 40, and his ex-girlfriend, 41, were together for 13 years but were never married. Nevertheless, they lived together for 11 years and have 3 kids, 11 female, 8 female and 3 female, together, and I mostly referred to her as my daughter-in-law. Around July of this year, I was shocked to hear from my son that he wasn't happy in his relationship and was moving out. They both refused to tell me the exact reasons behind the split, but I knew that my son's ex-girlfriend was devastated by it. I would go over to her home to help with the kids, while she applied for full-time work. I told her she'll always be family. Then around September, my son started living with a new woman, 23. He asked me to please not judge him, and I told him he was a grown adult and I couldn't tell him what to do, and as a parent I'd always love him. I advised he not introduce her to his kids. In late October however, he shocked us again when he proposed to his new girlfriend and set a date to get married in a civil ceremony close to Valentine's Day 2021. He had told me for more than a decade, that he wasn't a fan of marriage, and that if he and his girlfriend could survive him working 80-hour weeks and the stress beginning a finance career entailed, they didn't need a piece of paper. His ex-girlfriend had previously been reluctant to finalize any sort of custody agreement, saying that they'd been together for 13 years, and she had hoped he'd realize what he had lost and they'd work things out. She understandably became furious and started being aggressive in terms of getting custody of the kids. She was also angry that he introduced her to the kids a few times. However in mid-November, they said that they were going to stop fighting for the sake of the kids and keep up the decade-long family tradition of celebrating Thanksgiving at my house. My wife died a few years back, so it's just me doing everything. His fiancé had previously said that she was going to be driving to her sister's house an hour away to have Thanksgiving with her. However, my son called me yesterday to say that her sister had to work on Thanksgiving now, and he didn't want his fiancé to be alone so to set a place for her at the table. I called my son's ex to inform her because my son asked me to, and didn't want her breaking down in tears when she saw his fiancé as she does when they meet unexpectedly. She said she would not stand for it. And that she wasn't family to their daughters, and she wasn't doing this with the new fiancé during the holidays, at least until he actually married the fiancé. She then said that if I did not uninvite my son's new fiancé, who she said ruined their daughter's stable family and has only been there for a couple months while she's been there for 13 that she and the girls would eat Thanksgiving dinner at her home. My son said that his ex was being unreasonable, and that everybody has somebody to celebrate Thanksgiving with, and his fiancé has nobody and that wasn't right. He said that I told him I'd love him for all his decisions, and that includes his fiancé because they were getting married, whether I liked it or not. What do I do? My son is saying that he should get priority as my child. But my son's ex is saying that the tension with the new fiancé, and the fact that she's still very much a stranger, would confuse and hurt their girls. Now for the top comments. Expecting his kid's mother to have holiday dinners with the woman he left her for so quickly, is cruel. So pretty much he'd rather his girlfriend have a family Thanksgiving than his children. If you see from OP's comments in the post, his son cheated on her with this new woman. So yeah, he's trash. I don't know why OP left that out of the post, but probably to make everyone view the ex more harshly. Why are you doing your son's dirty work? He asked you to tell his ex about his cheating, he asked you to tell her about Thanksgiving. You're his puppet. He clearly messed up his family for this 23 year old. If I was the ex, I would hire a lawyer and get sole custody, your son can have visitation rights, and I would have a clause that prohibits introduction to the 23 year old until they are married. This really isn't any of your business. His ex has every right to hold the children and I hope she does. Tell your son to grow up, he has made his bed be grandpa invite the kids uninvite the cradle robbing baby who tossed said kids aside for a younger woman sunny boy and his lady friend can have their own thanksgiving at their own place and use the time to decide how thankful they are for the decisions they've made here's the reality of the situation your son cheated on his ex breaking up in july moving in by september engaged a month later i wouldn't even be surprised if she were pregnant things are moving so quickly that's why his ex is so furious at the end of the day though, there's not a whole lot you can do. You obviously want to see your grandkids. All you can do is talk to your son is explain it to him as such. You're stuck between a rock and a hard place, and I'm sorry you have to deal with it. Yes, I know he cheated on his ex with his fiancée. I told his ex because my son told me to. 
He was afraid that his ex would break down in tears when she saw the ex without getting warned first, because she's done that various times before. Cancel Thanksgiving at your house and go to ex-girlfriends with the grandkids house for Thanksgiving. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for telling my in-laws that they would be responsible if me and my husband divorced? First, some important context. Last year me and my husband had our last child, and the pregnancy was extremely complicated and life-threatening to both the baby and myself. At one point, there was a 30% chance of both of us being alive by the end of it. Due to this, I also have some complications that are going to impact me for the rest of my life. During this time, my husband was terrible. He did not support me at all, and would get quite angry whenever I wanted to talk about it. He brushed it off, didn't help around the house with the other kids, and got to the point where he was emotionally mistreating me. About a month after, my daughter was released from the NICU, my loving and caring husband came back, but I was destroyed and told him that I wanted to divorce. Obviously, we started going to counseling, and during this time we found out that he had Asperger's syndrome, and was just really good at masking. Afterwards, our entire relationship made a lot more sense to me. We always knew he was socially awkward and he has a lot of quirks, and all of our arguments can be traced back to symptoms of his autism. Now, after months of him not wanting to tell anybody, he finally got the courage to tell his parents about his diagnosis. Their response? Oh, we always knew that. You were diagnosed with autism at two. But we didn't tell you, so that you can have a normal life. I was furious, like I said, all of our arguments have always been because the symptoms of his autism. So much hurt and pain for both of us could have been avoided had we known. My husband could have learned better coping techniques as a child, and I could have learned better coping techniques earlier in our marriage. I was so mad at them, that I screamed that their selfishness could have cost us our marriage and may still. My husband was pretty pissed too, and we both hung up the phone. Now I'm getting phone calls saying that I took it too far, and that his Asperger's diagnosis shouldn't have any impact on our relationship if I actually loved him. Now for the top comments. Not the a-hole, sounds like your in-laws don't really understand mental disorders at all, and don't care to. You have every right to be upset and resentful, and so does your husband. Especially your husband. I'm so sorry. I am glad you have his diagnosis though, and it sounds like you're doing everything in your power to rebuild your relationship. I hope it works out well for you both. Also, Asperger's has a strong genetic connection, so teaching your children about it is super important. If your in-laws can't respect whatever you need in the future, I would strongly consider distancing from them. Thank you. We were having our oldest tested for autism and told therapist about it, and that's when my therapist suggested that we also get my husband tested. Both tested positive for Asperger's. Slightly irrelevant to your question here, but using the phrasing tested positive for Asperger's isn't the best way to put it. They don't have an infection, they receive a diagnosis of ASD. Also, 100% not the a-hole. I wasn't upset about this comment at all. I couldn't figure out how to word it properly. I'm just adding this to be clear. I don't blame them for the actions of my husband, neither does he. He is and was a full-grown adult, and made those decisions himself. He is taking responsibility for his actions and is trying to change moving forward. Throughout our entire relationship, our biggest issue has been that I don't feel like I am loved. We've been in and out of counseling because of it countless times, and have discussed this counseling with them. The problem is that, the counseling only ever put a band-aid on the problem instead of actually fixing the root of it. Now that we are aware of the actual issue, I have been able to readjust my expectations of him, and he has been able to get counseling for his autism. They have had multiple opportunities to tell him about this, but have chosen not to. They have been aware that his lack of communication skills, has been taking a serious toll on our relationship for a while before this. I do not love my husband despite of his diagnosis, in a lot of ways, I love him because of it. However, this man prides himself on being able to fix anything, and when he was faced with the fact that he couldn't fix what was going on with me, he got extremely angry with himself and then took it out on me. I'm not angry with him because of his actions, I'm angry with him because had we had known from the beginning, he would have been able to get the counseling he needed when this situation started, and we would have been able to mitigate the impact of it. Now for the next story. Am I the a-hole for telling my family that if they want Thanksgiving, they'll have to get off their butts and plan it? Usually for Thanksgiving, we head out to go see family. Someone else always hosts, we typically help sponsor the host by paying for cleanup, etc. 
Our home is just too small to host the 30 plus folks who typically show up through the day. This year that's obviously not happening. Other than us talking about not doing the usual. Thanksgiving didn't come up until yesterday. My kids have the week off from online school, and I was doing a puzzle with them before dinner, when my husband walks in after work and says, so, did we get a turkey? I looked at him and said well, I know I didn't. Did you? He stared at me blankly and said, no. What do you mean? Do we need to get one still? Is it being delivered? I shrugged and said, I don't know nothing about no turkey. The kids and him looked so confused, so I helped them along and said, I didn't buy anything. I didn't plan anything. No one said anything to me about Thanksgiving. Nobody offered to help meal plan, cook anything, do anything. He blew up yelling at me, about how I should have obviously known. I said, why? I've literally never planned or made a Thanksgiving dinner in my life. The most I've ever done was help clean up or maybe peel the potato. I asked him why didn't he plan anything, why didn't the kids plan anything? Why is everyone waiting until the last minute and dumping it on me? He just sputtered and yelled, and stormed off to his office and left me with the kids. We all had dinner, the kids cleaned up, and I was relaxing with some wine and a book after they all went to bed. My husband tore into me about how he can't believe I left this all to the last minute, now there will be no thanksgiving, how could I not be heartbroken to do this to the kids, etc. So I just looked at him and said, why didn't you plan? Why did you wait to the last minute to ask me? He told me I was being a freaking witch for no reason, and stomped off to go sleep in his office. He left without saying a word this morning. I followed up with my kids and asked them if they wanted thanksgiving. They said they didn't care because the food isn't that good most of the time anyway. Before you ask, yup, I work as well. We split chores but there's no hard line. I do some, he does some. We both cook, and the oldest cooks as well. I just don't get why Thanksgiving is on my plate. Why, just because I'm a woman. LMAO, F that. Am I the a-hole? Added to add, thanks for the judgments, all. A lot of people seem to think that my kids are like, toddlers or something. They're old enough to help make the menu for dinners, help with cooking, etc. It's weird how many people came up with info here, like I was getting down on the floor playing rather than me and the kids. Sitting at the table doing a puzzle. Anyway, I told my husband that if he wants to do some traditional Thanksgiving with all the fattening, carby, salty, beige food, he can go ahead and plan it, and I'll help in the same capacity as always. If he wants me and the kids to cook something together, aka a normal, average Thursday, I'll continue with what was scheduled. The kids genuinely do not care. Thanksgiving doesn't mean anything to them. One of them has been asking for us to stay home for years. One of them barely touches the food as it is, and the other one only likes to go so she can see her cousins, and she sees them all the time anyway. The middle kid already dug out another puzzle for us, and they're just happy they're off school. Also, we don't do Christmas. Check your bioses, folks. Don't leap to conclusions based on what you want to have happened. Heavy not the a-hole. Also, the way you handled this conversation is absolutely how I would have. I laughed out loud at, well, I know I didn't. Did you? Also, you all live in the same house and share the same kitchen, I'm sure he would have noticed a turkey in the fridge if there was one. I'm sorry your husband has childlike temper tantrums. So, did we, the clarion call of a husband about to say something epically stupid? NTA. Jesus pleases, the stones on this man. Sounds like someone has some sexism jammed into that turkey where the stuffing ought to be, honestly. If it was a situation where you were a stay-at-home parent, and did all or even most of the cooking, then it could have been a mild YTA, per your post, I see that you share those duties, so you're morally well in the clear there, but telling your wife she's being a freaking witch for calmly asking why you weren't allowed to do the exact same thing he was doing, aka, nothing, and then literally stomping off to his room. Good God. That sounds, to put it mildly, extremely unattractive in a life partner. Exactly. Good job on OP for just mirroring the questions back. You want one? Go buy the groceries, plan, discuss, something, anything other than assuming wifey is going to do it all because she's female. Please dude, stay in your office, and the rest of the family can eat whatever that day. Doesn't sound like anyone else is butthurt about not having some goddamn turkey. Not the a-hole. If he's so concerned about having Thanksgiving dinner, he can cook it or go buy a platter from somewhere. If you've never done it before, why would he just assume you would? He should've talked about it with you if that's what he wanted, so you guys could figure it out together. 
literally, all it is is themed food. It's not like you cancelled Christmas and you can eat box macaroni while being thankful for stuff. Now for the last story. Am I the a-hole for not saving my kidney for my brother? My brother needs a kidney, we've spoken about it before and he doesn't want to take mine at all. For me, it would be the last possible option. I have young children, and it would be months before I'm back on my feet. I have a few physical issues that cause pain, and one of the painkillers I use, apparently isn't great on kidneys. I'm not perfectly fit and healthy, but I'm more focused on our kids at the moment than spending time at the gym slash playing sport. This has become a problem for my mother, because she thinks I should be looking after my kidneys better, in case my brother needs one of mine. She wants me to stop taking half my painkillers when I struggle to walk, and instead, call her to look after my kids. I'm torn here, because I love my brother and I want to help him, but I also don't think my mother is right here. Am I the a-hole? Now for the top comments. You aren't an organ cooler for your brother not the a-hole. Also, OP is expected to be in so much pain that she can't look after her kids for an undefined amount of time? OP, your mom is making a ridiculous request. Info, have you actually done the tests to see if you're compatible? Cause it could be a complete non-argument. She will prioritize her kids, you will prioritize yours. Every day spent with your children is precious, and they need a mother, not a grandma. Not the a-hole. She prioritized one of her kids, not both of them. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.